one of the goats is inside that calf hut. All of these were over there by the sea container just a little while ago. But there's one of them. I can see her tail wagging in there. And she's been over here rearranging the huts. By the looks of it, I think it's Anita. She's the biggest one. And everyone, yep, there she is, poking her head out. Yeah, quit moving things around, dear. We don't need you playing musical chairs with the huts. Anyway, I'll look out here some days, and there's a hut moving all by itself. I didn't catch it today. I heard it moving. I didn't catch it, but we'll catch it and show it to you another day. Well, that one is Melly. What are they doing? Taking turns? You guys leave those things alone. Don't need to be way over there. Quit moving the furniture. This afternoon I found this calf hut halfway down this aisle in the back. So today I tied it to the sea container. Let's see you move that, Miss Anita. I'm sure you'll try. And maybe you're strong enough to do it. But it's secure. The others aren't, but this one is. Well, you can see the girls have been moving furniture again. That last hut was over there by the sea container door the other day. I tied this one off right next to the sea container so they couldn't move it. But as you can see, all these girls are healthy and happy. In fact, I've cut their feet pulp down to once every other day. Charity here, the black and white one, I don't know. She's so heavy. I'm just hoping she'll breed in November. So we're kind of on a little bit of a diet. Everybody else is about a good weight. Hip bones aren't sticking out too much. And the two of the darker ones, they're they're a little smaller, but they still got their girls are still nursing on them every once in a while. So you can see they're they're all in pretty good shape, except being ugly to each other. But everybody's pretty pretty healthy I think overall. What? You think you're listening to me. Are you listening to me? You don't usually listen to me. But I usually give them a couple of cubes of alfalfa and chip. I think I call them chips of alfalfa hay. And I always have hay in the hay feeder over there. And then uh, just regular feed one day and then feed in the beet pulp on another day. So they're doing all right. Well, this is the final chore of the evening, short of putting up the chickens. 10 sacks of feed. And I know that I was there Friday and I guess these guys may think that I'm feeding that much a day. Well, it's not, it just depends on how many sacks of feed I feel like I want to unload for the day. And 10 was all I wanted to do. I did 15, five goat, 10 cattle on Friday and four hay and today it's just 10 and four so that's all i wanted to do so it's like getting unloaded just looking at it so have a good night have a better tomorrow 
and like and subscribe our channel to our channel. Thanks.